Uh, moving on to the most important part. The pregame ritual. Better watch out, cause I'm out here shooting pucks. Scoring goals that blow minds up. Checking fools who want this puck. MVP. Scoring goals? Chicken fools? Oh, you know, it's all starting to make sense. Do you think this is the year we'll finally find out how old Charlotte really is? <laughs> we have a better chance of stumbling into a pit of friendly rattlesnakes. Snake bite kit? <laughs> She's here! Enjoy your birthday, and remember our deal! Mm -hmm. Surprise! Surprise! Mm -hmm. Take me with me! Mommy said she doesn't like surprises. <sighs> Hi, Angelica! Hey, Stu, you remember Kira? She's here for a piano mm -hmm. lesson. Nice to see you again, mm -hmm. Stu. Mm -hmm. Didi said it would be all right if Kimi played here with the kids. Angelica mm -hmm. and I are very good friends mm -hmm. from preschool. Mm -hmm. May I go now, Mama? Hey, have fun. <laughs> I guess it's back to the house to begin. <laughs> Composer pun. I'll put that one at the top of my list. Get it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking to you. Now be sure to make a wish before you blow out those candles. Our babies are inside the cake! I heard Tommy! It's all right, they're air holes. The little tykes are fine and we'll get that cake open right quick. Birthday gal, <laughs> now would be a good time for a little speech. Thank you, Miss Smelly. Family. Friends, I would like to express my heartfelt gratitude to you for indulging me. I have been evasive long enough. Today, I turn 40 years old. There, it's out. I hope you'll still regard me as part of your generational demographic. What an inspiration. Now I can bring my truth to light. I am proud to say that I am not Charlotte's sister, but I am her fun-loving young aunt. <laughs> <clears throat> sure. Ah, uh, let's go all the way. I am Charlotte's mother. You're my Nana? Technically, yes, darling. But we'll come up with a name for me that doesn't scream grandmother. Uh, here! Deed, what's wrong? You've been sick the whole time. Stu, I'm not sick. I'm pregnant. What? We're gonna have another baby? I know we're having another baby! <laughs> another baby. It wasn't the sheep feed after all! <laughs> well, that's good timing. Everyone will be so absorbed in Dee Dee's big news that they will forget what we just confessed. Won't they? Mother? Ah, uh, one can only hope. But happy birthday, my dearest only daughter. Excuse me! <laughs> Tommy's mommy! Angelica needs to tell you something. Well, oh, <laughs> hi, Kimmy. Uh, thanks. What is it, sweetie? Um, nothing important, Aunt Dee Dee. I thought I saw something swishing around in the grass over there. Swishing? Uh, are you saying you saw a snake? Like Phil and Lil's toy? Mm -hmm. You mean Drooly Snake? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, could be. Uh, it was moving kind of fast. Well, that is so interesting. Isn't nature wonderful? Uh, hey, kids, how about we all go inside for a nice snack? <laughs> Bye, <laughs> you two! <laughs> there. Isn't this cozy? Stay right here. I'll go see if Tommy's daddy wants to help us with our snake. Ah, oh, snack! Kitchen! Thanks for watching the kiddos today, Thea. Normally, I, I wouldn't ask, but I have this lunch thing. This small business owner of the year lunch thing, where you'll be awarded a plaque by the mayor herself, and you get to give a speech. Um, <laughs> ugh, yeah, public speaking isn't really my jam. Getting kind of sweaty just thinking about it. Did you know, when she was only four years old, she stood up in the middle of church and loud as can mm. be. She announces she wasn't reading it. And any that's why I don't speak in public. <laughs> Bye, pups. Have fun. Get your sips here, pups. He's not even trying the sippy cup. Maybe I'm rushing him into this weaning thing. 
Felt the same way with Susie. I think it's harder on us moms. Give it till the end of the day. Maybe you'll get a sign. Almost there. <laughs> Ta-da! Welcome to your baby shower. Can you guess the theme? Ski patrol? Mannequin party? <laughs> I have so many questions. Yes, Chaz. Like what party planner told you that maroon and black are a pleasing color combination? Ah, that should be your first clue. Colors of the College of the Northwest, sweater weather, a picnic on the soccer field. Get it now? Our, Our first, first date. date. Oh. oh. That whole day was perfect. The crisp autumn breeze, Dee Dee's beautiful <laughs> smile, the amazing gourmet food. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I need to check on something. Angelica, huh? you get to be the big girl gift helper. Can you handle that? I was born for this job. What do I do, Dr. Susie's mommy? You'll help organize the gifts. That table is for the new baby gifts. And that one is for Tommy's gifts. Wait, Tommy gets presents too? Of course. He's going to be a big brother. Here, you start with this. Tommy gets presents for doing nothing, and I got to stack them up instead of opening them for myself? It's not fair. The day is ours. First, herbal tea. And next we... Oh, ah! I think I know what's next. Thank you for driving me to the hospital, Chaz. You're surprisingly calm. Turns out everyday life makes me so nervous when there's a real emergency. I'm perfectly chill. I'll just ping Stu and he'll be back okay. before anything happens. I hope so. But if not, I'm... So comforted to know you'll be right by my side through the whole birth. What? It's Stu. Leave a message. How can you not be answering your phone? Your wife's having a baby, and I'm the only one here. Stu! Whoa. I came as soon as I could get away from the shop and rent a hazmat suit. Only one? Stuart, you wound me. Oh, yeah! Hi, <laughs> ah! 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 <laughs> Charlotte, you're here too? Of course. Someone had to take the children on a nature walk while the rest were tracking down you and this gentleman. Obviously more at home in the wilds of nature. Bob Bryan, nice to meet you. Lou, how'd your whole family know where our secret campsite was? Number 16, Trixie's birthday. What? I pay attention. S'mores, anyone? Yes, yes please, Mommy. The distinctive Aurora. Those glowing red eyes. Babe, hey, get ready to take a picture because I'm about to come face to face with... Graham Prescott in the woods? Well, I have no time to put together the proper wardrobe, but yes, I came to tell you all. The baby is coming! False alarm. All I heard was a bunch of loud breathing. The baby's coming? <gasps> ah, it's go time, people! Move, move, move! <laughs> oh, I'm so glad we got here just in time. You wouldn't believe the adventure we had today. Chaz and I had a pretty big adventure today, too. Sorry you had to miss your oboe solo. Totally worth it. Come on over here, champ. Here we go. Oh. Tommy, meet your new brother, Dylan Prescott Pickles. Oh. Sweet. Thank you, Graham. If it weren't for you, Stu would have missed being here for the birth. This is such a beautiful moment. <gasps> I know. <gasps> Randy, can't you put that on vibrate? It's the camera! This is it! Nope, just a bear eating marshmallows. Finished our song. <sighs> just in time to welcome my new grandson. Hey, folks, congratulations. Life is an adventure, an adventure has a way Of molding and unfolding us like flowers out of clay It's a simple revelation, but it's more than meets the eye You can roam the world but feel at home with a best friend by your side 
thanks to you I've learned the truth through the good times and the fuss. I know that life is made of precious moments just for us. Hi, Dio. It's me, Tommy. Guess what? I did find what I was looking for. It's you. We're going to have lots of adventures together because you're going to be my brother and my friend forever. <laughs> Still to come. Let's take it home, Bob. Still to come. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> oh, my mom says they're almost here. They drove all the way from Florida without stopping. Can you hang with them during my group? No problem. I love your folks. But won't they be exhausted from the trip? Oh, I love the smell of Kreplach in the morning. Hi, Didala. Hi, Betty. Mom! Dad, what are you doing in a food truck? Not just any food truck. This is Bubby's Balinsmobile. Long story short, we sold the deli to move out here, but we missed making food. And then Fran Fernovitz from Unit 5 was selling this truck. Turns out her cake and seafood concept, Frosted Fish, was a bust. It's still a long story. Minka, she's got her baby group. We'll visit later. Look <laughs> at these beauties. <laughs> Oh, look how big Tommy got. Oh, Bubby missed you. And here's our sweet Dill just staring off into space like a little alien blob from Planet Puppet. Are you an alien blob? Let me see. Oh, yes, you are. Yes, you are. So there was a mix up. It's not every day we get the mayor over for a meet and greet event. Can't wait to display your painting up there. I've been trying to find time to finish, but between this little guy and the others, I'm up to my elbows and diapers and sippy cups. Well, good news. You can leave all the children here with me while you paint. Oh, Charlotte, I don't know. Oh, <laughs> not me, personally. Angelica's new nanny will be here soon. She can watch them. Didn't your last nanny leave quite suddenly? Ugh, yes. She had a pigtail allergy, which I've since found out is not a thing. But this one is going to be different. Trust me. Oh, she's at the door now! Uh, uh, express delivery for Council Person Pickles! You didn't mention Nanny Pip was a robot? An AI childminder, actually. She uses algorithms to custom motivate good behavior. Imagine, she'll learn exactly how Angelica thinks. Isn't that what scared our other nannies away? Oh, uh, she feels so real. And she smells like fruit gummies. Thank you. Pleasure to meet you, Didi Andrew. Wow, nice firm grip. Yay! Oh, uh, that's okay. Dill can be really fussy with new, uh, child minders. Oh, Dee Dee, Nanny Pip comes programmed for infant swaddling and baby soothing. <laughs> Such perfect form. There's nothing these artificial intelligence machines can't do. Off I go to meet the little ones. <laughs> Brilliant! Charlotte, only you would find an automated worker that could completely replace human employees. <laughs> Did I say replace? I meant assist. <laughs> hello, Angelica. I'm Nanny Pip. And hello to Tommy, Susie, Phil, Lil, and Chucky. Let's play the unicorn star game. When you earn stars, you'll uncover a magical unicorn. You can even dress it up with accessories by earning more stars. Oh, oh, how do I get stars? Simple, really. Be good. Keep it up, and there are plenty more stars where those came from. Just good? I'm the greatest. This'll be a piece of cake. And this is Cynthia's perfect penthouse. And this is Cyrus. Isn't it good that I'm letting the babies be in my room? Yes, and look, you've uncovered the unicorn eyes. Ooh, I just need to finish that row of stars. How else can I be good? Ooh. Hands off! Uh -huh. That's Cynthia's space scope! Whoops. Writing is detected. I'm afraid we're losing the muzzle. I didn't mean it! Nanny Pip, how do I show I'm good so it comes back? 
Why don't you find a toy you don't mind sharing with your little friends? Friends is a stretch, but okay, if it gets me that unicorn. Here you go. Stars, please. What are we supposed to do with the toy comb for a toy horse that we don't even have? Come on, guys. Let's go outside and find something to play with. Go ahead. I'm going to stay here with Nanny Pip and share with her. You know she's not real, right? Of course. I just got to get her all programmed to listen to me. And then it's going to be me and my robot. Trail mix? I think that's for the sheep. Oh. Ooh, snacky. Oh. Mm. I never saw this many colors of purple before. Angelica's coming. Stop touching the balloons. Who wants a cookie? Snickerdoodles, sprinkles, and chocolate chip. Take your pick. No, Philip. She's been too nice. It's a trap. Go ahead, Phil. All of you. Did I get another star? My unicorn needs sunglasses. Be good. Get stars. More good, more stars. Take a cookie. But it's the last one. What about you, Angelica? It's yours. <laughs> Looks like we need more cookies. Pip, pip. Guys, I think Nanny Pip took over Angelica's brain. Hi there. Here to collect Miss Angelica. Ooh, look at your cute little hat. I'm so sorry, Mrs. P. There was a gum incident. <laughs> oh, poor little angel. <laughs> and Dee Dee, it's not Gabby's fault. She's the best babysitter ever. I couldn't stop myself. <laughs> oh, goodness. There is gum in your hair and quite a few other things. <laughs> we tried and tried. But gum just got in deeper. <laughs> this is one of those teaching moments in parenting that I still need to research. I'll go call Charlotte and see what she wants us to do. If I may, working for Charlotte for the past four years, 24-7, I know just what she would want us to do. Snip, snip. <sighs> Ooh. Are you sure, Jonathan? Definitely. And we've got to hurry before it spreads to the other side. <gasps> you ready, sweetie? You're very brave, Angelica. Just remember, it's not about how many ponytails you have. It's about who you are inside. And who you are is perfect. That is not something they teach you at babysitting boot camp. Thank you, Gabby. All right, Angelica. Deep breath. And then, snip, snip, and it was over. Good storytelling, Angelica. Now do we get to see your hair? That's right. New hair, say me. Can you deal with that? It's so, so perfect. I know. can't make it. I'm running an Earth Day festival here, Jonathan. You're not just letting me down, you're letting down the entire planet. No, I haven't forgotten you were hit by a bus. I'll tell you what, I'm in a generous mood. You can wait until all the casts are off. Mommy, what is Earth Day anyway? It's all about saving the Earth, darling. Going green, recycling, and cleaning up the planet. Oh. Hello, all. What do you think? Gaylord Nelson constructed entirely from recycled aluminum cans. Simply stunning, Dee Dee. The perfect backdrop for my speech. That reminds me, we were supposed to have a papier mache earth on display over there. Could you track it down for me, please? Cheers! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> My goodness, 
Trish, the twins sure have taken to you. It's been uh, a bit of a journey. <laughs> That's my pumpkin head. You know, we could start a tradition where we eat a spinach ball every time someone in the movie high fives. Can you bring these again next year, Trish? Next year. <laughs> <laughs> Back in that cave. I can't quite explain it, Leo. I met someone who changed my life. It happens. I got you this. Wow. 